Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, friends. Welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time listening, my name's Mr. Jim. My wife and I and our three boys, we live in South Carolina, and we love story time so much that we create and write your ideas into some awesome adventures every single day. So every day there's a new episode on Kid Short Stories that starts from your ideas. And today's idea comes from Wavery and Sullivan. And I'm so excited for this one. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful day today, and Waverly and Sullivan were zooming around their dirt bike track. Zoom. Can you make the sound of a dirt bike? Wow, yours is way better than mine. <laughs> well, Waverly and Sullivan loved BMX and dirt biking so much. They love to zoom around the track, even on a very hot day, which today it was. And as they were zooming around racing and jumping, Waverly was in the lead with Sullivan close behind. I'm going to catch you, shouted Sullivan as he zoomed and flew through the air after taking off a huge, massive jump. Whoa! He somehow flew past Waverly, and then they crossed, and woo! Wow, good ride, Sullivan, said Waverly. I don't know who won, but that was a lot of fun. Wait a second, said Sullivan. Did you see that fluffy thing over at the last turn? I don't know what it was, but let's go check it out. Waverly and Sullivan hopped off their bikes and ran over to that last turn. No way, shouted Waverly. Look at these two little bunnies. They had found two little bunnies that I think were very thirsty and were caught in all of this heat. Did not look very good. All right, we got to take care of them. Here, let's get him some water, said Sullivan as he took off running for home. He was going to go grab a couple bowls of water for these poor, very thirsty bunnies. Waverly picked them both up in her arms. They were so tired and weak, I think from it being so hot and not enough water for them. Oh, you poor little dew. Oh, you're so adorable, said Waverly. Here, we're going to help you feel a lot better. Don't you worry. She brought them back closer to their house where there is a lot of grass. You see their BMX and their bike track was just this big dirt field, and that's where they could race their bikes. That was not a good place for a very hot day for two little bunnies. Here's some water, said Sullivan as his bowls of water were splashing because he was running back as fast as he could. All right, put him down and see if they drink. The two bunnies dove into the bowl of water. Not only were they thirsty, but they were very hot and that water felt so good, like a nice cool bath. Look at them. They're so cute splashing in the water, said Waverly. Oh. <gasps> They, they probably need a place to live for a little bit. And then when the heat passes, then maybe we'll let them go. I'm going to name this one Rose, she said. And I'm going to name this one Toaster, said Sullivan. <laughs> Why Toaster? Uh, I don't know, said Sullivan. He kind of looks like Toast. They both laughed. Over the next several days, these bunnies were treated to the most royal life ever. They had the best food, like carrots and lettuce and everything a rabbit could ever dream of. Waverly and Sullivan built a beautiful hutch. That would be a nice, cool, and shaded place for these bunnies to live. And I think the bunnies actually really liked it. 
They would come out to play in the grass, and then they would run back to the hutch, which was that nice, cool, shady place with delicious food and, of course, a bowl of water. A few days later, it was time for more dirt bike practice. They have got to keep practicing if they're going to win the next race. All right, let's go! As Waverly and Sullivan took off in their dirt bikes, it actually scared the bunnies. Scared them really bad. By the end of Waverly and Sullivan's practice, when they returned to check on the bunnies and change their water, the bunnies were gone. Oh no! Where did the bunnies go? Shouted Waverly. Sullivan and Waverly started looking everywhere, all over their backyard, and they couldn't find them anywhere. Oh no, do you think the bunnies heard our bikes and got scared? Said Sullivan. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, said Waverly. The two of them and their parents spent the whole day searching and searching for these two missing bunnies. When finally they found them, the two bunnies, Toaster and Rose, were shivering and hiding in the garage. They were very scared. Oh, come here, you two, said Waverly as she picked up Rose and Sullivan picked up Toaster. We're so sorry that those really loud noises scared you. The two bunnies cozied into their arms. The bunnies were very happy to have Waverly and Sullivan hold them again. And as they brought them back to the hutch, the bunnies jumped back in to eat some more food and drink some water. Wow, I I think we need to be a little bit more careful with our dirt bikes, said Waverly. Yes, we... I don't know how, but maybe we can move the the bunny's hutch to the other side of the house so it won't be as loud when we start up our bikes. Yeah, that's a great idea, Sullivan, said Waverly. The rest of the day, they spent making a new home for these bunnies on the other side of the house that wouldn't be so close to their dirt bikes. And now those bunnies will live a very happy life with their new friends, Waverly and Sullivan, who are pretty amazing at taking care of bunnies. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid. Shout outs! I want to say hey to Wesley and Teal from Washington, Devin and Mateo from New Zealand, Charlotte and Sammy from Texas, Brielle and Chloe from Charlotte, North Carolina, Evelyn from Virginia, Ruby and Sam from Colorado, Grayson and Easton from California, and Micah from Wisconsin. I am so glad that you're all in the Kitchener Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop. Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Will you have a super duper day? And don't forget to leave me a review with your, tell me your favorite episode. I will see you on our next story. Bye.